Hello, everybody. Surprise, surprise. We are live. Today's 2020 Hot Wheels C case unboxing is brought to you by, of course, AJ Toys. Ken is the owner. AJToys.com is where you want to go. You can buy this case. You can order future cases. You can buy premium. Premium is going to be big time here soon with all the cool things coming like Team Transport and Boulevard and Car Culture and everything else. So I decided to pop on here live instead of scheduling it. I was going to do this last night, but uh, the case came in a little bit late and I had other things to do. So I'm here to do this unboxing. If you're watching this and it's not live and you just want to see the unboxing, we're going to get to it right now. And then afterwards, after the unboxing, if you, we have some time, maybe I'll do some Q&A. Uh, sit down and have a little Sunday chat, and if you just want to see the unboxing, you can shut out there and turn it off, but uh, just watch the unboxing if you want to, and then we'll move on. So we're going to get right to it. It is the Hot Wheels 2020 C case. This is the international case from our friends at AJ Toys. I try and give a full, uh, full coverage of all of these cases, so we do the rapid unboxing, which is usually a three-by-three three picture of the models as soon as our friends at Wheel Collectors gets them. Then they send me the models and I work on a showcase or on a highlight, you know, showcase of the highlights of the models I think are the highlights, including the Super Treasure Hunt. And uh, and I have filmed that and it's actually done. I've just got to post it. And I might post that tonight or tomorrow. Let's see about the time. But that will be the highlights from this case already, plus the uh, Super Treasure Hunt, which uh, I already opened when I did the video. We'll get to that. Um, by the way, Mattel has provided all of the supers so far. So we have the D case when the D case comes out that we get to do the, uh, E case, right? Yeah, this is the E case super. And then we have the, uh, F case super. I'm just waiting on the G case super. And if you watch my Instagram, I already previewed the H case super. I will open these when I do the, um, when I do each respective case. So they'll stay off to the side and as these cases come out, I will add those supers and we'll do them, we'll open them as part of the highlight video. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, I am never the first to do these unboxings. Um, I always get the case when uh, A and J gets them, we open them up, we do our thing, and then we go from there, right? So let's go ahead and open this up. You can see what I've got, you can use it as a reference, then the highlight video is coming. And uh, like I said, I've got so much good stuff you might have seen on the comments. So much good stuff coming, so pay attention. We start with the, let me get the lighting better here, the, what is that, the Sword Warthog from uh, Halo. We've got the Hyper Rocker, and this is new. It is the Total Disposal. It's, uh, I guess, a metal base, right? And plastic body, obviously in two parts, so they might be good for the track, I don't know, but... Uh, Kind of a kind of a funny little goofy cast. I actually kind of like it for those that uh, like those kind of cars. I'm more into the realistic stuff. We'll stay with that. All right, Porsche 917 LH. That's a holdover from the last case. I think the Hot Wheel Armored Truck is as well. And the 65 Ford Mustang Convertible from Thunderball. So this is a James Bond Mustang, and I love the wheels on this one. I talk about it in the highlight video. They've made good use of these aero style wheels. They can look like good racing wheels. They can all also look like classic like dog dish hubcaps as well. So very, very cool model. The Mustang updated casting. I think it's a little cleaner than it used to be. All right. Oh, good stuff here. Head starter. Really nice colors on the head starter. Porsche Carrera, the 96 Porsche Carrera from the Porsche set, which uh, that one is uh, was part of the GameStop case, right? So we've already seen that one. And then the Volvo 850 Estate. Brand new casting and fantastic. I see some uh, real future with that casting. Some real fun stuff that they could do with it. Such a cool choice. And we can talk about that one a little bit more. Really digging that one. All right, another Mustang here. So high-tech missile. Roller toaster in blue, and then another Mustang, which it's always nice to look at that one again because it's nice. Power Rocket. There's your Ford GT40 from the B case, which was also the Super in the last case. And I can't remember, was the RX-7 in the B case? I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Really nice, clean version of the RX-7 with those PR5s. Check that out. Bat Plane. 
Uh, I opened this one. I didn't put it in the highlight video. It's pretty plastic. I think there's a, I think that middle piece right there where the window is, is metal and everything else is plastic about it. It's pretty light. I don't, is this a new model? I assume it is from Batman. And then the high tech missile and then the twin mill Gen E, which looks nice in that green color, little stripes on top. I see a lot of you guys popping in, making co comments. I'm actually busting through these for those that just want to watch this video later and watch the unboxing, and then we can chat afterwards. So definitely stick around if you want to chat. Since it is Sunday, heavy hitcher, diaper dragger, and then another bat plane. Got another Volvo. Always happy to have another Volvo. Gosh, that's awesome. You think about the, there haven't been a ton of licensed new models so far, but we've had the Subaru 22B and the Porsche 944 and now the Volvo. That's a pretty strong start, don't you think? Rockin' Santa's sled just in time for Christmas. Got a little holiday theme there, kind of a funny, oh, it's got wheels on the bottom too. And then 68 Chevy Nova is awesome. What a great deco for that one. Love that they're doing that more and more. And then look at, notice how they did the camo on the entire body. If we get another one, we'll look and see if it's different. I think it's probably the same for every one of them. But uh, yeah, you can see on the art, it's the same as the, as the car. But that's pretty cool. That's a really neat model. Really neat. All right. Another Ford GT. Another RX-7, there's a Greenwood Corvette, great model, also holdover from the last case. 2008 Lancer Evolution and Advent Deco, how great is that one? The one I got from Wheel Collectors, I don't think they noticed, had a had a had something messed up on the front grill, so I didn't open it because I have a friend who collects Evo errors. So um, we can look at this one, uh, and maybe I'll open it up for a different highlight video, but that one's really nice. There's the Porsche 944 clean as clean can be and then another 917 lh from the porsche subset Boy, this thing is i'll just pull it out right now let's get rid of it right now right skull shaker there's your 70 ford escort this could be if it were in more of a spectra flame color the uh the Hot Wheels ID, and obviously if it had the white card, it would be the Hot Wheels ID Chase. I opened that one as part of the highlight video too, so stay tuned for that. And then the Robo Race Robo Car. So new color for the Robo Car. That one's nice. And last but not least, Total Disposal 67 Jeepster Commando, and then the BMW K1300R. You know. The 67 Jeepster Commando, you see that 25 on there. It's got a bunch of cool deco. If it were in more of a Spectre Flame color with real riders, and that 25 was smaller with the big TH next to it, then you have the Super Treasure Hunt. So that's what you're looking for there. That's a really nice color, isn't it, on that one? So anyway, that's the Super you're looking for. We'll just put these off to the side. All right, next 36. Chrysler Pacifica, two of those. I like this deco better than the Hot Wheels Racing. I think that looks really nice. Love the wheels on it too. Pedal to metal and another Pacifica. Poison Arrow. Dune it up. Eight crate. Nice deco on the eight crate. Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR, another Porsche 944 Turbo. There's your two Jets. Two Jets or two Jet Z, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's got a name, right? I shouldn't say what you want to call it. I can't remember if it's the two Jet Z. I think that's what it is. Two Jet Z, not the two Jets. But I've heard both people say that. I should probably get clarification on what to call it. Maybe some of you guys know. All right, Grass Chomper, I believe. Yep, if you look right there. You can see it is, the, the logo's there, the super, well, it's not super, but regular. I got a bad glare there, so it's really hard to see it. But that is the regular treasure hunt. And there's the symbol right behind the front wheel. 
Roller Toaster and the Hyper Rocker once again. Porsche Panamera, just an awesome casting. Cool one as an ice cream treat van. And then how about the Custom 71 El Camino? Gray with flames. That one's pretty cool. Steely's really work on that one. That's nice. Hot Wheel 450F. Heavy Hitcher and another Greenwood Corvette. Cruise Bruiser looks awesome. All beat up. It's an art car this time. There's the Embosser and the Hollinator. Lots of trucks. Hollinator again. Dodge Viper and the Arbor Truck. <clears throat> How about that Roger Dodger? Steampunk style. That is cool. Wow, the art on that is phenomenal. Another Chevy Nova. Art on that is phenomenal. So you can see the art is the same, or the camo is the same. Boy, there's a lot of dust on these, huh? And then the slide kick. Dodge Dart and Mopar Deco. That looks cool. Grupo times 24, kind of based on a more modern Le Mans racer, and then the custom El Camino. All right, we're almost done. God, I was hoping for that one. There we go. There's the Lancer Evolution. Here is the 64 Chevy Impala. This is, I believe, a new model. Is it? I know it's tuned. What does it say here? Nope, 2003. It's an updated, so it's not new. So it comes from the Tune series, so they're playing with that. I was wondering if it was new. It is definitely not. So originally done in 2000, but that's kind of cool. Kind of a clean deco on that one. Porsche Panamera in white again. And then we finish off with the uh, RV there yet. The Supervan and the Rockin' Santa sled. There you go. C-Case, what would you give it? I'd give it kind of a, eh, eh, it's okay. The Volvo's phenomenal. I like the Super a lot. Um, but, uh, I mean, I would say, you know, the and the ID Chase, the Hot Wheels ID Chase is a great one. So so I'd say there's some, some highlights definitely for sure in this one. But um, I think some of the, other cases coming up are going to be just a little bit better. I'm gonna put these right here. So if you just came to watch the unboxing, I'm gonna stay on and go live for a little bit if you guys want me to. Um, just stay live and do some Q&A. But uh, if you're done with the unboxing, shut this baby down. If you wanna stick around, stick around. I'll stay on for a little bit. I'm just gonna pop this back like this so we can chat a little bit move this up because it is Sunday. I have a little bit of time before I have to get going. You guys can see I've got that Tesla truck sitting there that you guys can stare at and I'll do that to showcase very, very soon. Um, I have spent a lot of time, if you guys are on uh, Instagram and things, kind of showing some of the stuff that Mattel sent me and uh, there's some really, really good stuff coming and I just gotta, I've just got to get to it. Um, door slammers, Entertainment. Um, this. I've got the Matchbox uh, Convoys. I've got um, this. So lots of cool stuff to come. I just got to film them, get them opened up. Um, so if you guys want, while we're talking that Nissan Walmart set, I already see, I will give you all the details when I do the preview, when it's coming out, how much it's going to cost and all that stuff. I'm going to make sure I'm correct on those. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're all coming. All right. Japan Historics 3. 
I've got Door Slammers first, because that's the first mix of 2020, and then I think there might be one other, and then I think either Japan of Stores is either the second or the third um, car culture release for 2020. So, where do you get the Tesla truck retailers soon? Um, and I have got... Um, I've got all the convoys ready to go too, so that preview is going to come. Um, I'm hoping I'll have it for you tomorrow. If not, it'll be Tuesday. Got some friends from Abu Dhabi. Nice to see you or hear from you. Um, here, we'll put the super treasure hunt right there so you can check that out. Uh, is the seven, seven? I you know what? I don't know. Is the seven eight seven? When we open it up, we'll check it out. It's the only reason it bent is because it's a softer plastic and the packaging pushed it a little bit. So um, we'll see when we open it up. Please open the Volvo. I did, and it's part of the highlight video that is done. I already filmed it. That's why this is open. Um, and uh, I will post it either tonight or tomorrow. So it's got to finish up a couple of things on that one. <clears throat> I'm looking at all your comments, trying to see. Also, did they paint the Nova the same way the military has GTO? It seems like they did. Um, I didn't do a showcase. I didn't do the Nova as part of that showcase, but maybe I'll, um, you know what? Let's see here. I could probably get that out. Um, where is it? Here. That one, because I didn't do it as part of the highlight video. Should we do that? Should I get the GTO out too? Hold on a second. All right, let's check this out. Found it. Got it off here to the side. All right, so here is the 68 Chevy Nova. And that bomber style, so Hot Wheels logo, and I love how they did the camo on the entire body. Whatever technique they used for that, that worked. So let's open it up. Throw that away. There's the model. And boy, yeah, it really, here's the GTO from the military rods. Look at, I clearly, that was the inspiration because check out the detail and then look at the wheels, look at the red rims. So how's that for a pair? I'll photograph those together in my uh, studio. Isn't that nice? Colors are a little different, you can tell. KA wants the 918. You're going to have to wait for the next case. Once I get the D case and I do the highlight video, then I'll open up the 918. So there we go. Put those two together. Look, You can see, by the way, before they made that a, a regular treasure hunt symbol, they kind of played with it a little bit on that, on the military rods. How cool is that? Whoever that was who requested that comparison, nice job. That's what we do these Q&As for. GTO, how old is it? Um, seven, eight, nine years. It came from the Military Rod series, which was the same as, uh, let's see here. Um, So they did three kind of rods. Hopefully I'll talk about it here. Um, they did this series in like one, there were three. There was military rods, police rods, and fire rods. And this was these were three exclusive sets. So the set, it was kind of interesting. So the castings, they used the exact same lineup of castings in each set. So the fire rods, like the GTO was part of it. And then it was each casting, but each of them had a different deco. So this is the military rods, and then there was a GTO in the fire rods and a GTO in the police rods. And um, I'll give you I'll give you the example of the most sought after. So this is kind of fun. The uh, Chevy eighty three Chevy Silverado had was three, and 
One was fairly easy to find. Oh, and each lineup was a store exclusive. So one was a Target exclusive, one was a Walmart exclusive, and one was Toys R Us, I think. So, police rod. Think about the 83 Silverado. Look how cool that is. Metal base on this one, too. Um, all of them, and all of them had basic wheels on it. So this had the OH5s. Um, so 83 Chevy Silverado. This was the police rods. This one has now gone up in price to like, what, 100, 150? I don't know if I've seen up to 200 carded. But it's gone up in price because people want it. But it was the other two that are the highest in demand because like many lineups back in the day, these were these didn't do as well as Hot Wheels had hoped. And so they hung on the pegs. And so some of the final mixes never really made it to stores and were, you know, Hot Wheels did a much smaller run and then some didn't make it to stores and so on and so forth. It's kind of crazy. I was going to do this whole Silverado feature and it will come up eventually. Here's the military rods. I opened this one, I think on video. And um, it's, this thing's crazy cool. See how it says, has this coating on the back. Oh, there we go. This model right now, carded is selling for what, about $800, $900? Cause it's just so rare. And it's kind of taken on a life of its own. Um, right there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so someone's saying I need the set. It's a tough one. I, I've debated, I debated and debated and debated getting this one, and I finally bid on it when I found one that was on a messed up card. Um, and then I made a deal. I'll tell you about the other one. So the fire rods, let me find that one because let's see here. There. So there you can see it. I still have it carded. This one's on a bent card. And I will tell the story of this one because this one had this one's on a licensed deco. It's in Annapolis, Annapolis. I can't say it right. In Maryland, right? It's actually based on their deco of their fire vehicles. Hot Wheels did it licensed. And the person who I traded with for this, and you can see here's the lineup of all the fire. So all of these castings. It's the exact same lineup in all of the others. So, so either um, fire rods, police rods, or military rods. So the guy, so a guy whose father was the fire chief, I believe, or worked in the fire department. I, I have the story all written down, actually. Um, Hot Wheels, obviously, because they were they did this license, sent a bunch of these to the Annapolis, Maryland fire department, you know, just because they did the licensing. They got cases of them. And as this car got more and more valuable, they had no idea. And up until like, seriously, like last year, they were giving these out at events as gifts just to kids and stuff. And the kids were opening them up. They didn't realize they were giving out like $800, $900 cars. And these kids had no idea. They were getting them. They're ripping them open. They're playing with them, crashing down tracks. There's probably a bunch of kids in Maryland right now who have this $900 fire rod Silverado. And they're just, it's just beat up and played with. How awesome is that? I love that. Anyway, he had a couple extras and he and I worked out a really nice trade and I sent it to him. He was nice and sent this to me. I sent him some cool stuff in return. This one I'm going to open eventually. So um, as part of a Silverado feature. So Car Addict is asking why I haven't answered your question. I didn't see your question. That's the only reason. I'm sitting here talking. You guys want to uh, learn about that. So... Um, X90, you should go look, go find kids that, uh, all right, whoever is doing that, we're going to remove you. All right, see you later. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, so that's the, that's a cool story. And I'll do, I'll do more of a feature on the Silverado. There's a bunch of them. I have all the Silverados now. And, um, and I don't have, I hardly have any of the military rods, but there's some, if you look them up, just like go to eBay and you'll see some other like more premium versions that say fire rods on under police rods. You want to look for this art and you'll see um, the fire police and the military rods. And you can look at some of the cars that are on there. There's some really cool ones. Um, but, uh, but the Silverados are high, highest in demand. I think the best looking the, of all of them 
I think this police rods and this military GTO are the two that I that I like the most. Have I gotten the Walmart exclusive exotics now? Um, all right. What else? I'm looking at you guys. We'll stay on for a few more minutes. When is the 2020 Hot Wheels C case cars coming to stores in Northwest Indiana? Let me look. Northwest Indiana, Northwest Indiana, Northwest Indiana. March 17th at 2 p.m. They'll be there. Um, do you have a GTO from fire and police? No, I just have the military. And by the way, I was kidding. I have no idea when they're going to be in Indiana. Probably now or soon. Um, I'm looking, let's see. Tommy's saying hello. Can you show the super, please? It's my favorite Silverado. Um, let's see if I have it right here. Let's move these. Do I collect muscle machines? I do not. So here's where my Silverado collection starts. Here's where the rods go. Police, military, fire. Um, when does the case hit Arkansas? Let me check Sophia. It's Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas. Oh, Sophia, sorry. Only half of the case is going to show up in February. Um, there's going to be six of each model. And it's only going to be at the Walmart on Highway 36. All right. And then there's how the silver is going. I don't remember that. I don't know what goes there. Something that's probably, yeah, it's probably on my wall display. Um, and then... Up this way. Oh, so the super goes right here, and it must be on my wall. Yep, it's on the wall. Let me go get it. But so you can see there's so there's so anything that's premium. I sometimes put on the wall. So like there's uh, there's the latest one. This might have been a convention one. You can see if you want to look while I go to my wall. You can try and see the difference between those two. See if you can figure that out. There's your super. So it goes with that one right there. All right, yes, and this one, small wheels, medium wheels. This one was really, I actually found this in store, but it's a real, didn't see too many of them, but I heard of a few people finding them, so. So, there you go. How many cars do I have? I have no idea. There's a little glimpse of some. Can I do a Dodge Charger collection review of your Hot Wheels? Um, I only have one. So 30,000, no. Um, actually, so you guys, what you just saw is my actual collection. Um, the, only other, the only other thing that I um, have that's not part of that I have some stuff in storage, some extra stuff that I am getting rid of over time. But um, the actual collection, it has my Hot Wheels and Matchbox collection and Auto World collection have to fit in the closet. If they don't, I get rid of stuff. So I'll start purging out stuff that I don't want anymore. That's my rule. So it doesn't take any extra. Um, Karak, did I get your emails about the web store? I think if you're the same person that's emailed... I have seen some, and I can contact you there. I don't. I can't always reply to my emails. I get quite a bit of them, um, and uh, I think when I, if you are the same person, um, I think the last one is like 
keep working on your business and make and establish it, make it strong, and uh, we can talk. But um, let's see that get well established first. Do I have an eBay store? I'm in. I have a. I have an account that when I sell stuff, and I might put some stuff up today if I have time. Um, then I do. Yeah. Uh, I R A C E M A four six. Galit is asking, do I sell or give to charity? Well, everything that comes in these unboxings, unless there's a model I'm keeping, I all those boxes go to um, Primary Children's Hospital here in Utah. So, in fact, I'm thinking of going doing the Ronald McDonald House this year too as well. In fact, I might do it next weekend uh, because it's a good time to do those donations, right? End of the year, holiday season. So, um, yeah, we do we donate thousands and thousands of models to um, to the hospital here, and they have they make good use of them. They use them as incentives to these kids. They say like, let's get this surgery done, and when you come out, there'll be a Hot Wheels car waiting for you or a Matchbox car. So, um, and then there's other things that I have as part of my collection that I will sell um, to get the value back on those and, and give you guys a chance at some of these cool cars that I have that I don't need anymore. I put them up 99 cents on eBay. If they sell for 99, they do. If they sell for $1,000, then that's what they sell for. It's just up to you guys to pay what you want for them. So that's how I do it. So for example, I want to put like some of these up. and I'm, I'm not, I promise you I'm not. <laughs> or like this, if the time ever came and it will, eventually I'll want everything gone. Um, I don't want to die with anything. Um, then uh, I'll put this up, put it up for 99 cents, and whoever bids the highest wins it. Um, what else? Oh, we're at 31 minutes, so we'll shut this down. I'm going to shut it down. Do I have the RLC SLS? Nope, I don't. I'll get it. It was supposed to arrive yesterday, but we've been uh, we've had a lot of snow here in Utah, and I think that delayed it, so I'll get it tomorrow. Um. I do have this one, so I'll try and showcase that eventually. Okay, well, I'm going to get out of here, guys. It's been fun chatting with you. I know I miss a lot of comments and a lot of questions. I'll stay on for about another minute, um, but um, I'm hopefully, like, I don't like to, I mean, these are already super long, but I don't want someone who wants to watch a C case unboxing, come and see that in my library and go, Oh my gosh, it's a 30 minute unboxing. <laughs> that would be uh, treacherously boring. Right? So hopefully I don't want them to be scared away by the length of the video. Um, but uh, yeah, if you miss the unboxing portion of this video, just as soon as we get out of here, just start it again once it uploads. And uh, do I know if RLC is putting out another node, probably another model? Yeah, there's a few coming. Um, any news about 2020 Zamex? The Zamex are coming. Target Red, I assume they are, but I haven't seen anything. Um, how much is a case? Uh, I think you'll have to look on ANJ Toys, anjtoys.com, and they'll have the listings because they're probably different prices and then different shipping prices depending on where you are. Did I open the Roger Dodger? No, but I can do that later. Um, I don't like that you can start doing motor max. I don't have motor max 124 scale. I'm going to keep it to 164 for the most part. When will the 2020 C cases hit Southeast Texas Walmarts? Um, you're in luck next Thursday, 3 PM. They said, just be outside. And if you wear a Santa costume, they will allow you to, um, buy Hot Wheels. Um, so, so yeah, next Tuesday, Santa costume, and they'll allow you to walk to the pegs, pick out the Hot Wheels you want, and buy it for the price that it's marked. Right? Amazing. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to head out of here. Lots to do. Look for the highlight video to post later. Um, I'm hoping to post it tonight. If not, it'll post tomorrow. Depends on what I get to in terms of filming these other previews that we've got. Because, man, guys, I've got so much good stuff to show you. So much good stuff. So be prepared. Thanks, everybody. I'm out of here. Bye.